Chapter 3 Cute Girls Battlefield. Probably this is going to be Kotoko's chapter because it's Cute Girl. Makoto. Okay, anyways, this time I'm actually going to do my introduction. I'm not going to forget about it. Anyways, hey guys, Darth Womp here, and welcome to episode 17 of Dagarampa Ultra Despair Girls. Last time, we defeated Jotaro, in which I had to do a retry, and I got a C! I'm going down the ranks! I'm getting C's now! Yippee! Anyways, we defeated it, and we finally got in contact with the Future Foundation and Makoto! So yeah, we're gonna get some sibling bonding. Kamaru, is that really you? No, it's the pixie of Toa City. I knew it! You're... you're Makoto, right? Mr. Makoto Naegi, right? You're siblings! I don't think you would refer to as Mr. Mister? Oh yeah, now Togo's getting some thoughts. You're safe. I'm so relieved. I was worried the whole time. Same here. I wish I knew you were alright. I mean, I thought you had already died. Oh, Makoto! I'm so glad you're alive! I'm glad too, Komaru. I thought I'd never see you again. But I'm relieved to find out you're safe. Yeah. Hey, what about Dad and Mom? Are they with you? No, they're not. Huh? I see. Then you don't know either. I was hoping that you would. Then you don't know either? But... but... It's gonna be alright. Don't worry. I'm sure they're just fine, wherever they are. But... You have no proof of that! They could be- In Jotaro's puppet show! There's no proof they're not okay either. So let's just believe in hope for now. If, and then- If you say- Oh speak. my gosh! And then, Nagito, he's gonna burst through the window like on a rope with like Tarzan. He's gonna be like, oh my gosh, it's Makoto! Hi, Makoto! I have Junko's left hand! Look at it! Look at it! Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's funny. I never thought I'd hear you say something like that. Really? Well, being positive is like my only good point. But more importantly, where are you right now? What's going on over there? I I'm at a building called Toa Tower. I, I was told I could use the communication device here. Oh, wait, that reminds me. Why are you answering? Biakuya made me. Biakuya made me the secretary. What do you mean by that? I mean, I called Future Foundation. Why are you the one who responded? Because Makoto is part of Future Foundation. You, you really don't know? Don't know? A about what? Kyoko made him the secretary. <laughs> Makoto, answer that. I don't care. I'm with Future Foundation. Branch 14. That's my division. Toko, is this true? Toko? Wait, what? Toko is there with you? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for you! <laughs> what? You got a problem with that? You disappeared! Everyone was so worried about you! Except Byakuya! Like anyone would actually care if an intern went missing. Byakuya! <laughs> he said, Toko's gone. In which case, we will celebrate. And then he pulls a rope. He breaks a glass in case Coat Toko disappears. And then some balloons rain down from the ceiling and he gets a cake. And he starts playing Happy Days. Celebrate good times. Uh-huh. I will. You know I would never stay behind on a mission like this. Especially with Master going. So you tagged along without orders. Well, I figured that was pretty much what happened. Wait, hold on! You two know each other? That's why Toko knew about me from the beginning? Yeah, she... didn't tell you that? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Did I not? No! You very much didn't! <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Toko. Anyway, I'm glad you two are together. I'm just with her because I have no choice. Your whiny little sister balls when she's alone. So basically, I'm just a babysitter. I guess this will prepare me for my future with Master. <laughs> hey, hey! I wasn't bawling! Don't listen to her, Makoto! So, where is Byakuya? 
Master is safe. Safe, but captured by the enemy. Just as I thought. Future Foundation's intel said as much. I just didn't believe it. I mean, Byakuya? Captured? I would have thought that they'd killed him by now. He was pr probably taken by surprise by some fiendish cowards. There's no other way. Ugh. The son of the noble Togami family brought to the position of a mere hostage. Sounds like the situation is pretty serious. So serious the world is gonna collapse. The ultimate affluent progeny is in danger. <laughs> ultimate? Oh yeah, Byakuya Toko and I were all classmates at Hope's Peak Academy. Wait, you... you didn't know that either? <laughs> no, I didn't. Well, now's the time for your brother to explain it. Here's your chance. Now you can show off your utter lack of presence with your brother complex. <laughs> uh, I do not have a brother complex. I don't really know where to start. We weren't just regular classmates. I won the lotto. We were trapped inside Hope's Peak Academy during the tragedy. Glad to know that we get the first thing we see is Taka. That's always a delight. We were forced to kill each other. Our classmates. Kill? A lot of our classmates ended up killing each other. Right in front of our eyes. Well, if you're playing this game, better make sure you're playing the first you played the first game first, because otherwise you're getting the first thing you're seeing is Sayaka's a snipe in Sayaka's gut. Even after all this time, the memory, the despair. I can still feel it. How Sayaka tried to kill a guy in my room and failed miserably. It wasn't just some movie or game? It wasn't a movie. It was reality. It actually happened. And it was all broadcast live as part of the tragedy. The mastermind behind it all wanted to spread despair throughout the world. <laughs> They wanted to show the whole world, the students of Hope's Peak Academy, the symbols of hope, falling to despair and death. Well, no chiming in with a remark this time? But wait, you two are still alive, so... Yeah, we were able to defeat the mastermind who planned the killing game and survive. Of course, we couldn't save everybody. What, you want to save Taka? And after that? We left Hope's Peak Academy and went into the outside world, but outside, it was more horrifying than we expected. It was easy to get discouraged, but by supporting each other, the friends who survived hell together, we moved forward. He and her donut came farm. Under future foundation protection. We chose to lend ourselves to the cause, to fight against the remnants of despair. Who are still trying to spread despair to the world. And then Nagito. Hey Makoto! So are you gonna try to fight me? Are you gonna to try to hit me with a whip? Are you going to try to beat me with a paddle? Right, Toko? <laughs> Crying Toko. Never thought I'd see the day. Toko, are you crying? Of course I am. Remembering the suffering and heartache. I see. I didn't know about that at all. I never thought something like that was going on. But you guys are so amazing. I gave up immediately, but you guys... You guys fought and confronted the problem. I guess that's why you've changed. No, not really. I was always being saved by everyone else. And then Kyoko just walks by. You saying that? Your brother got so hyped up from being declared the ultimate hope. He was always dragging everyone along. So eager about everything. Hey, I wouldn't say I was hyped about it. Oh, but you don't deny the dragging everyone along part, huh? Jeez, take it easy on me. Makoto... You've definitely changed. You too, Komaru? What do you mean? I haven't changed a bit. No, really. You really changed. It might be weird for your little sister to say this, but... You seem more mature now. Toko's dark mind is turning! 
just from this conversation, I can tell you're more reliable than you used to be. Well, I don't really think so, though. But me? I haven't changed at all. Not since my imprisonment. Listen, about that. There's something I need to apologize for. Huh? Apologize? The reason you were in prison there? It's because yep. of us. First motive! If we weren't chosen by the Mastermind, you wouldn't have ended up like this. Huh? What do you mean? You aren't the only prisoner in Toa. With you is everyone who is relevant to our classmates. In order to make us commit murder, the Mastermind abducted people relevant to us and tried to use them as a motive. First motive! We managed to stop it before it got that far. But the theme was killing among loved ones. The Mastermind was going to force us to watch you kill each other. To make us really lose all hope. The video of you, our family, being abducted was used for motive as well. But that was just the beginning. The Mastermind was planning something far more cruel. In the end, the Mastermind was swallowed by the despair. And that motive was left unused. But even after that, I was still imprisoned. Oh, so were those children like wardens? Probably the doings of the remnants of despair, trying to succeed the Mastermind's will. Oh my gosh, my hero. My hero is the one who delivered the breakfast. Eat! I'm not gonna let you starve! You are a motive for Mistress Junko! Don't be selfish! Junko is trying to spread despair! And you're not doing your part to spread despair! Because of them, we were totally in the dark about where the captives were being held. <laughs> yeah, Kazuichi, he had the sea painted aside. No captives here! In blood. But a few days ago, Future Foundation received an anonymous tip. We were told captives from the killing game were being held in a certain apartment in Toa City. Why do I have the feeling that a certain Nagito did it? That's why Byakuya and the others were at my apartment. But because of those rioting little brats and their machines, the plan for saving the captives was scrapped. And even Master, the protagonist, was captured. Makoto, you've already heard the ones causing the riots here are Monokumas, right? So, did you figure out what the deal is with these Monokumas yet? Probably they're being controlled by Toa technology. No, we still haven't figured that out. Huh? Jeez, Future Foundation's useless. The Monokuma riot starting at the exact same time as the rescue operation. Strange. Like I said, it's no coincidence. It's conspiracy. Someone's setting up Future Foundation. Then that would mean the tip was a trap, using the captives as bait to lure us there. The captives aren't just bait. They're targets for the massacre game the brats are playing. Massacre game? They make hunting and killing the captives part of their little game to taunt us. Wait, does that mean the captives are the ones wearing wristbands like mine? So you finally caught on to it. Then Hostages, captives. Yuta and Hiroko and... That man with the computer, they're... they're all captives? Yes. There are people close to us. People who were imprisoned in Toa, just like you. Kamaru, what you just said, is it true? You're involved in this massacre game too? Y yeah They put a wristband on me and now I'm being chased by these... weird kids. That's... And one of the brats who started this sick game? said something interesting earlier. Something about Big Sis Junko. Yeah, J Junko joined the joined the Big Brother program. She just took out a bunch of children and told them all about stories about despair. She said, this is my little big sister. Her name is Muguro. She's crap. Junko? You mean Junko and Oshima? Junko and Oshima? She's the mastermind behind the school... No, she's the mastermind behind the tragedy itself. And then, then Azuru pops in just out of the corner of the shower. He's like, you act like I had nothing to do with this. And she has huge boobs. Yes, Toko, the ultimate source of evil. In that case, I would have loved to see Toko at the end of Dagamapa 2 when there was that giant Junko with her 15 meter bust. <laughs> Toko would have just been livid. Big boobs too? Yes, the ultimate evil. 
Junko and Oshima is known as the true ultimate disciple. Look at those boobs! <laughs> she was our former classmate. With our classy Monokuma. See, look at that smug Monokuma. Why can't we have that Monokuma? But didn't you say earlier that you already defeated the Mastermind? Remnants of Despair! Yes, Junko and Oshima is dead. But it seems her memory is still alive and Wait, well. Wait, are they talking about Alter Ego Junko? In that case, this really does take place before the second game. Even in death. Junko and Oshima continues to influence the remnants of despair. She's become a martyr to them. Now she's even more trouble than when she was alive. It's like they worship her. Like some big chested <laughs> or something. We did defeat her at Hope's Peak Academy, but well, lately, I've been thinking she must have foreseen this possibility from the yes! very beginning. Listening to you guys is... I just can't believe it's all real. Yes, her big boobs are indeed real. <laughs> Why even the sex on Junko's breasts? No, not that part. But I get why you think this is all just fiction. Crazy kids are killing adults, you know? Yeah. Things are just so... messed up here. Makoto, hurry up and get over here! Because of the wristband, I can't get out of the city. If I leave without permission, it blows! But Future Foundation can remove the wristband, right? So please come save me! Kamaru... You can't. Huh? I, I can't... Can't what? Why do you think they're holding Master hostage? They don't want Future Foundation to interfere. This is Byakuya! He would kill all of you off without a second thought if it meant getting the job done or getting what he wants. Like taking hostages during a bank robbery. Master Byakuya is being used as a deterrent. M meaning, if Future Foundation came to this city, Master would be... Then Future Foundation won't come save us? Then what am I supposed to do? Well, we gotta tell Shiro Kuma! Grab the walk in the sound. Didn't I already and tell you? There's no other way. You have to fight against those. And then kids. Shirakuma's gonna come, and he's gonna be upset. Get rid of them, and you can save yourself and Master. <laughs> That's impossible. Oh, he took two out already. No, it isn't. You have Master's gun, and I'm with you too. But, but I, I can't take this anymore. I just can't do it anymore. I'm not from Future Foundation, or Hope's Peak. I'm just a normal girl who can't do anything! Kamaru... Makoto, please, I'm begging you! Come save me! Hurry, please! I told you, you can't! If they come here to rescue you, Master will be executed! <laughs> they have Kazuichi building the device right now! <laughs> the children... Yeah, I could just imagine... Nagi... I can imagine Kiyotoko, she's like, Okay, I want a loop-de-loop! -loop. Okay, loop-de-loop -loop it is! And then Nagisa, he's like, We don't need a loop-de-loop. -loop. Just make something simple like a giant crusher. And then Nagisa, and then <laughs> Kazuichi, But I really want a loop-de-loop! -loop. Come on! Miss Sonia! The loop-de-loop -loop will help you get Miss Sonia! And then Kazuichi, Loop-de-loop -loop it is! Makoto, you better not come if you even try it. You're gonna end up with scissors in your neck. I... I will... I will kill your What is it with you, Toko? Damn it, Toko! Kill? Toko, I'm down! Makoto! Come on. Okay, who are we gonna get new enemies? We're just standard Monokumas. Oh, we're trapped in the building now. We have windows. What? They're going to trap us. We gotta hurry and get out of here. But I haven't finished talking to my brother. We can't get through anymore. 
And it doesn't matter anyway, no matter how much you talk. As long as Master is in their custody, Future Foundation cannot come to this town. But if it's Makoto... What? No! Not the dark! Not the dark! Bitch Black? Oh, yeah, because I want Beast Monokumas and the Junk Monokumas in the dark. Go, go, calm down. Don't panic. Girl, I'm hearing the Torridor march in my head right now. I am calm. I've just been taking too many deep breaths. That's it. Just oh, lightheaded. Yeah, she's panicking. It's fine. We just gotta get out of here. Hurry, or I'll stretch your cheeks out like rubber. Got it. Okay, Monokuma <laughs> chill. Oh yeah, that's why we need a creepy Monokuma child. Oh, it has a light on it. Oh, goody! Run! Uh, hold on! How do we get out of here? <laughs> we got a light! Well, at least it's gonna be a bit brighter now. Uh, that little brat! I'm, I'm sure she knows how to get out of this place! Let's try following her footprints. Okay. This paint. The hacking gun can see it, right? No sparklies. That's sad. Dark. So dark. Let me out already. Okay. But that's, this is pretty cool. I have to admit, it's pretty cool. Anyways, let's get out of here. Okay, let's just focus. That surprised me. I thought it was a Monokuma. Okay, come on. I want to get out of here. Come on. Can I go over the table? Can I get over the stool? Come on. How am I supposed to get out of here? Yes, how am I supposed to get it? Tragedy! Move back! Move! Move! I don't know! Okay, come on! How am I supposed to get out of here? I know I'm supposed to get out through something. Oh God! If you're there, I could really use a flashlight. At least I'm getting one child. Okay, let's. We got Masaru. Okay, come on! I want to find my way out of here. Okay, good, good. Here's the way out. Come on. Oh yeah, that's what I need. Monokum is in the dark. Come on. I'm, I'm getting so discombobulated. Come on. Is there something? Is there something on the other side of this door? Okay, come on. This can't be something that's... I'm, I'm missing. Come on. I'm hating this. It's dark. Dark, I'm confused. Right now I'm back here. Oh, come on. This 
is just too much. Where's the way out? Come on! Come on, I'm just trying to find a way out. Okay, it says the kid went that way. And the kid went right here. If I close my eyes, will I not be able to tell it's dark anymore? Okay. Okay. Item? Something? Okay! N Neku Nekon, Nekomaru, Grand Bois, Sherry, Ludenberg. The last passage was a cat! It's cute on the outside, but inside it's all slimy and yucky. If you let your guard down and get too close to the LE, you lure out with gyoza of food and burn to ash with a fire deck. It might look like cat, but cat food doesn't work, so pick the right food. Of course, it would be a Celeste. This would be Celeste's cat. Come on! This is not helping things! Ah, oh, come on! I'm just trying to find the way out! There she is! Let's be careful! Light. So we're just trying to find my way out. Sorry, I'm tired. Let's actually go inside the washing machine and get some sleep. Oh, come on! This wasn't the way out! Okay, come on. It says that they go here. Option to jump, or at least do something. I'm lost. There you are. There you are. Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on. No! You, I bet you know exactly where the exit is, right? To tell me. Now you've been tokoed. Congrats, you've been flown off. Toko. Hey, Toko. We're in beyond. Oh no, we're in her head now. We're in her head. Well, if you wash black clothes too many times, the color fades. But there's a way to come back. To <laughs> okay, so Toko gets kinky and has Biakuya giving her house clean laundry advice. It's a simple method. First, do the laundry like you normally would. Yes, do the laundry. Like usual. 
but before you rinse it off, add just a little bit of beer to the water. Oh yes, I will. I'll add beer, anything. And just like that, faded clothes can be fully restored. <gasps> I'm starting to get better at doing laundry. Oh my gosh. Thank you very much. Now I can be the perfect livestock for master. <laughs> Don't go get a hold of yourself! <laughs> what? What happened? We found the emergency exit, but it's blocked. That brat! She betrayed us! A little more and I would have blown up! No, no, you talk. You have survived it. You have survived another one. I don't think she was our ally from the start. Sh shut up! This is your fault! Why is it my fault? You're the one who said you wanted to contact Future Foundation. And now this happens! Thanks to you, I got caught in this damn trap. Take some responsibility! Responsibility? Ugh, who cares? I don't want to hear your excuses. Well, Morley, how do we get out of here? I just need some light, yeah? Light? More light? Okay, at least things are a little brighter. Oh, at least I'll, I'll sell for that. Oh, over there. The light's coming through. Maybe you can break that part. Boom. Yes. Light. Now we can get out some. Okay, we're out. Good. The light. The light. <laughs> yes, it burns, Toko. Are you Feels okay? like soap. No, I'm just happy. Well, you didn't have to scream about it. But still, it's good that we're finally outside. But now what do we do? I'm sure there's a way to get down. Okay, is there a save point? Wait, wait something's here, so let's check it out. Super prison shot. What does this skill do? Oops. Decreases. Okay, we got super precision shot. Decreases it. Oh, come on, can I get super precision shot? Okay. Unfortunately, we can't do that. Let's just get going. At least we're outside now and we can see. Oh, that's so nice. It was horrible. Uh, so high up. So scary. Hey, I'd rather be high up than this. If we fall, we'll be squashed into jelly. We have to walk carefully. And we found a safe point. Thank goodness. Anyways, I really appreciate that you stuck. I think that was a good time to end things off. I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share it to wherever you want. And with that, I will see you later. Bye.